Totally from Mutation Creation. Today's video, one of my favorite jeans that I'm known for and I love working with, and I've been working with it now almost 10 years, the asphalt jean. So, got a lot of different variations, combos, freeways, super asphalts, um, pretty cool stuff. Um, actually, there's one that we forgot that I have to get. I know. Yeah, you just noticed? Straight up there. No. You can use one of those. No, another one. Oh, I think you meant just a normal asphalt. No, it's another one, but anyways. We forgot the normal asphalt too. No, I, no, I got it. I'm way ahead of you. Okay, okay. Yeah, see? So, me and Austin, he was at one side. I have so much of it. We're screaming back and forth. Do you got this one? Do you got it with Leopard? Nope, but I got it with Enchi and this. Okay, and we're... Th Here's what we amassed. A lot of stuff too was in Shed. Ducky. Ducky's in Shed, but we have a sibling... Well, not a sibling, but an animal almost like Ducky, so that's cool. Uh, first, I want to give a huge shout out. PM Reptiles. Nice. Not slacking either. Bam! We'll call that a half slack. Half slack? He has no like shout outs to his Instagram or anything. But it's still BAM! Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Half slacking. It's okay, I'm fully slacking. So, there's a few of us that are fully slacking. So, uh, let's start off with the regular looking asphalt. Now, here is a regular asphalt. Now, of course, all mine are Het Pied or Het and Hanser, Het Clown. There's something going on. This one here, uh, this is a Het and Hanser. So, normal asphalt. You tell it doesn't look like a regular normal or a wild caught. Very similar to a yellow belly. So um, I cannot tell the difference between a yellow be belly and an asphalt. Um, some jeans um, sort of show the, the the difference between the two a little bit more, but not enough for me to say it's 100% this or 100% that. Um, but a lot of checkering on the belly. Not much flaming on here, but you you can see. Especially up here there is, but not really down at the bottom. So this is a regular asphalt. And then we're going to add in some pastel. And pastel cleans it up a little. Lots of blushing here, especially down by the tail. This one just wants to go. It's TV time. It's TV time. Chill. So that's a pastel asphalt. Hopefully she behaves. Maybe not. I might have to put her away. Here's an Enchi asphalt. And this is 100% Het Pied. So you see here, a lot of blushing. Coloration's a little different than just a normal Enchi. Cool belly, a lot of pied markers. So Enchi asphalt, asphalt and a pastel asphalt. And then you mix them all together and you get a pastel Enchi asphalt. And this is 100% Het Pied also. One thing you'll notice is on a pastel Enchi, has a little like crossbone on the head. Or a butterfly. Butterfly, I call it a crossbone. Show the so, belly on it. Yeah, the belly. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see the yellow belly look. This is asphalt. So if this came out, if there was, these all came from super asphalt combos. So I know they're asphalt, but if this was a yellow belly, or if there was a yellow belly in the clutch, I wouldn't be able to tell which one's yellow belly or asphalt. They're so similar. And even with the experience I've had over the nine years or so, um, I really thought that I've, you know, I was like 70% I knew, and then I would raise them up swearing they were asphalt and I get ivories. So um, I just sort of gave up. If it's not a true asphalt, I have it as yellow belly slash asphalt. So um, I don't expect to know. I don't, I don't claim that I, I did know. Some people have, they can tell the difference. 
uh, I've had many phone calls of people calling me saying, hey, dude, you know, what do I do? I got ivories. It was supposed to be an asphalt. Uh, it, it sucks. Um, I know there was uh, another person in, in the UK, same thing, bought from a reputable breeder, sold them as asphalts, you know, bred it, made a whole bunch of combos, sold it throughout Europe, and uh, they raised it up and produced ivories. So uh, it's tough. Um, so if it's not a true, if it's not uh, from um, a true super asphalt, um, then I wouldn't claim that it's, a, it's an asphalt unless um, you know, or unless it's an asphalt to a pairing that has no yellow belly at all. And then anything that has that yellow belly, asphalt looking, flaming and belly would be an asphalt. But once you mix it with yellow belly, you, you, you're taking a risk of trying to, um, you know, differentiate between two genes, which I've produced hundreds. I, 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 might, I might even say thousands. You, you can't tell. You, you really can't. Um, um, and if you can, I haven't found that, 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 that perfect thing. So uh, let's take it from there. Let's add. So you saw the Enchi. Here's Enchi Leopard. So if I pull that Enchi back out, Enchi Asphalt, adding Leopard really gives it, you know, really changes the banding of the Enchi. You can sort of see the leopard pattern, but it gives that gold and that that coloration from the Enchi into the into the leopard. And of course, really awesome. And these are all het pides as well. And then add pastel in the mix. Really cleans it up. This is a pastel Enchi Leopard Asphalt. And if you notice the heads, okay, so there's the Enchi Leopard. When you add pastel, it gives you like a skull and crossbone. So when you have pastel with Enchi, look for the head markings. You can clearly see the difference between the two. But pastel gives it more of a golden color as well. But just two awesome animals. Look at this belly. <laughs> nice hep pied ringer markers. So real cool stuff in the future. Moving on. This looks like cinnamon. So here's cinnamon asphalt. This is also head albino. So if you know from a regular cinnamon, it really changes the side pattern. Instead of normal cinnamon, it looks like this with the alien heads. It really, lots of blushing coming up. You can see the belly it has a yellow tinge as well, but a lot of this pixelation coming up a lot of blushing. Lightens up the color of the cinnamon as well. And what's good with this is when you get the albino version, even though it's in shed, unfortunately, this one's taken off. This one's in deep shed, but the colors, see the the side pattern it's really broken up a lot of orange coming up from the belly so an albino cinnamon asphalt fortunately it's in, it's in a deep shed but it says moo <laughs> moo but if you look even though it's in deep shed you can see the colors like peach there's like a nice peach orange yellow really awesome but I had to show this even though it wasn't shed. Moving on. This is an albino asphalt. So this is without the cinnamon. 
Lots of nice peaches in the back. So an albino asphalt. So I'm just trying to get that. I don't have the super albino asphalt on display today. I had that in a video, um, I believe in the albino. A little bit of stuck shed. Um, so I am I wanting, really wanting to see cinnamon and black pastel and some of the darker morphs inside the uh, albino freeway and albino super asphalt stuff here. This is a lavender albino Enchi asphalt. So, oh, it's just a lavender albino asphalt. Oh, where's that's not the Enchi one. Nope, the Enchi we left behind. Ah, I'm looking at the head, but yeah, the head, you're right. Look at you fooling me. So this here is just a lavender albino asphalt. You want to compare it with the normal albino? What's the difference between a lavender and a normal albino? You see the differences there? Night and day. You can also see the purple starting to come in or the lav starting to come in where this, the albino is really, really white. And here you can see the tinge already. So hopefully in the camera you can. It's not picking up as well as you no? can see it with the naked eye. Yeah, so let me see if I can do it like this. No. I mean, I can see the hue. It's like catches it a little bit. One's just a bit more white. Yes. So. Albino asphalt, lavender albino asphalt. Why didn't we show the, uh, the Enchi? It's beautiful. We showed it off in the last video. Oh, okay. The Enchi video. It's still beautiful. It <laughs> you is. can show it off again. So I'm, I'm working with asphalt in a lot of combos. Um, I've got it into many, many jeans. Um, here's one that I'm excited with. This is a super vanilla asphalt. Look at that head. Super vanilla asphalt. And what's good about this, lots of flaming coming up. You see a lot of the pixelation in the side along the belly, but lots of flaming. So hopefully I have a female that's going to lay. Um, I should have some super vanilla, super asphalts. With pastel and, and combos. Yeah. And, and, uh, oops. So what's a super vanilla, super asphalt. Nope. Super vanilla. Asphalt. Oh, sorry. Super vanilla. I'm all excited. No worries. <laughs> hopefully I get to show you one of those. Now here is a sibling. This is a pastel. Look at that head. Of course, come on, let's, don't show the head off. This is a pastel super vanilla asphalt. Lots of flaming coming up from the bottom. Lots of blushing throughout. Pastel really takes super vanilla up a notch. Right, look at that head. So compare both the heads. Night and day. Oops. I want to see the belly in that one too. It's still a lot of pixelation, high flames coming up. So really excited to see this in the super asphalt version. Hopefully later this year. It's one of my goals. Here we got a whole bunch. Okay, so. Let me start. This is an Enchi Fire Asphalt. Beautiful, beautiful. It glows. It glows, it's awesome. Okay, see the belly. A lot of the pixelation, a lot of flaming. So, Enchi Fire Asphalt. And then you add some pastel. So this is a Firefly Enchi Asphalt. And notice the head again. 
It's a lot more blushed out when you add the pastel. Gives, you know, real, real noticeable head stamp. Still got that cross and bones or the butterfly going on. But just look how nice these look. Look at the flaming, look at the belly. A lot of flaming coming up. So. And then, let me just see if, I, if they're gonna be, behave. And then here, of course not. So, sorry guys, I'm gonna put these two away. That there is a super enchi asphalt. So, really cool how the flames are actually dark. Like, really neat. Super enchi asphalt. And I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna add Orange Dream. So, you add Orange Dream, so much cleaner, more reduced, a lot brighter, a lot more yellows coming in compared to here. It's all dark. So the OD version really cleans it up, gives it a little bit of an enhancement. But the Super Enchi, you can definitely tell the head. It's got like a spade on the head. So love Super Enchi stuff. Can't wait to make a super OD, super NG, super asphalt. Uh, might not be this year. It, I could be, but definitely the year after. Crazy. Super OD, super NG, super asphalt. Triple super, man. Oh my God. It's going to be awesome. Halfway uh, done. What's that? Halfway done. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do have a chance of doing it this year. I'm pretty sure I have a, a clutch. But uh, everything I'm growing up, like this stuff here is, is ready for next year. All these females, they'll be of size next year. And I already have the proper males. So just putting them together and, and hoping to hit the odds. But uh, it's looking good. I'm already, uh, you know, two years in on the project. So next year should pay off. Could pay off this year. But putting the work, made those animals back in 2018. So, oh, one in 2018, one in 2019. So... Even though I have some, I'm still adding more to it because I love Enchi and OD and, and, and Asphalt, obviously. So here's some really cool ones too. We're gonna take, get into the freeway stuff now. So here we have a Mojave freeway. So the Mojave and some of the darker morphs like Cinnamon, Black Pastel, GHI really cleans up the side, really gives it another hue compared to the regular freeway. And then here is a cinnamon. Cinnamon does the same thing. Just nuts. Like, really clean. These stripes really glow. So Mojave and cinnamon freeways. These females are growing well. Maybe uh, next year they can get the size. Lots of stuff to do with, uh, with freeway and, and, and super asphalt combos. Uh, possibilities are endless. I mean, I've been doing this for nine years and I keep making new stuff and I'm not ever disappointed. Um, we'll go this way quick. This here is an Orange Dream Super Pastel Freeway. <clears throat> I think we should stop for a second and explain what a freeway is for those who do not know. Oh, yeah. Maybe show one. This is one right there. Okay, so. Good point, Austin. Look at you. Okay, so. What a freeway is. So I keep talking about asphalt, asphalt, uh, asphalt uh, as the gene. When you add asphalt to yellow belly, it makes an allelic animal called the freeway. Okay? So it's basically, we call it an ALS animal, acts like super. So this is what a freeway looks like. Now this is a freeway hepide, but some freeways, they have this sort of striping. It's not really, um, this one here's a little bit of crooked and bent. It could be the uh, hepide influence. But if you look at the bottom part, like most freeways, looks like the line in the middle of a road. So what a freeway is, is asphalt and yellow belly combined. 
And when you breed this to a normal, you can never make a normal. Correct. You only it's... make an ash bow or a yellow belly. Yes, but the problem is with that, you can't tell the difference between the two. So that's why you see in people's ads or myself, you'll see asphalt slash yellow belly. It has to be one or the other, but I cannot tell, um, or other people can't as well, or they're, they shouldn't be able to tell. So when you see, you know, pastel asphalt slash yellow belly, that means it's pastel and either asphalt or yellow belly. It has to be one of the two because it came from a freeway. Um, so, yeah, I mean, amazing animal. When I saw this back in 2009, 2010, I had to buy one. Caught my interest, and I've had it ever since, and it's never lost it. It's one of my passions. So you take that freeway and add Super Pastel and, and Orange Dream, and you get this beautiful monster. So she's just like, wow. OD really cleans it up. When this came out as a baby, this was like purple. I mean, there's just so many. So, she's awesome. I can't wait to get some Enchi in that and, and some other jeans to sort of bring some of the color back. I've already showed you the freeway. So here, this is what I, I like this little guy. He's pretty awesome. I have a breeder as well uh, that's doing some work. This is an ash, sorry, an asphalt, a freeway genetic stripe. So that there is a freeway genetic stripe. Nope. Whoa. Calm down, guy. Okay. I went to go try to get the dad. And colored up really amazing, except he's in total deep shed, so. But I just love what it does. I love the color on it. Solid stripe. Lightens up a little as well when it gets to an, uh, an adult. Definitely lots of stuff to do with this animal still. Going to get it into my clown and my enhancer stuff. Definitely want to get leopard in here. So much to do. You know, blackhead. There's really no end to what we can create. Uh, we've got so many different uh, genes and, and, you know, the, the, the knowledge behind us of what adds color, what takes it away, what adds pattern, etc that there's, uh, you can be as creative as possible. Now, I did mention Ducky before, but Ducky is uh, in deep, deep shed. And of course, I'm looking at this one, so is this one. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know who Ducky is. Champagne Freeway. And here's a Champagne Lesser Freeway in deep shed or going into a shed. This is orange, these are like gray and purple. There's peach, but look at that look at that little snout. So a great indicator to tell that you have a champagne freeway. It's almost like a duck bill at the front. It's all white. And the whole yeah, the front of it is all white. And a little bit of crown. Yeah, on the head. head. And then you take the champagne out of it and you get a lesser freeway. So similar to the Mojave. Okay, really makes the dorsal stripe bright, really cleans the pattern up on the side, except because it's lesser, it really gives it that lighter tone than the deeper colored Mojave. Really cool head stamp. But nice coloration, holds well as an adult as you can see. Really cool line down the back. Huh? <laughs> Running away from me. So, really, um, freeway stuff uh, really works well with, with almost every single gene. And when you're putting them together, they're not all so 
similar, like really, really close. There's definitely, you can see the difference between all the jeans. Um, right at the top there. We'll go this way? Yep. Yeah, might as well. This one here, this is pretty cool. Hidden Gene Woma, Freeway. Anchi Hidden Gene. With Anchi? Yep. So Anchi's bringing in the burnt, rusted color, those oranges. And the Hidden Gene Woma is helping with the pattern on the sides, cleaning it up, as well as giving some of the darker tones to the oranges. But look at this. this look at the reds and the golds. Salt and pepper inside, all that little black speckling. It's nice contrast from the belly up. Imagine getting like red stripe and OD into this. It's it just wow. So definitely amazing. Really happy. And then here's one which I, I'm almost positive. I'm I'm pretty confident. This is a vanilla pastel freeway. Look at that head. The head's screaming vanilla from just a firefly. Really love the soft, subtle colors compared to the pastel. It's a lot softer. This could be a firefly freeway, but I'm really leaning towards the pastel vanilla. Just a beautiful, beautiful female. Even the pixelation and color. And I've got so much more. I'm just showing you bits and pieces. I have, I have a whole whack of them. And uh, not stopping anytime soon. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> These are awesome. This is the pied version. So, of course, just peed on me. Yep, right there. It's okay. That's Probably why. on your shoes, too. What's that? Probably on your shoes, too. Did he? I don't know. Of course, right at, right at camera time. But that is a freeway pied. So, freeway pied. Too shy to be in the camera. Lots of nice oranges, especially in the dorsal and even around the saddles. They sort of, the orange really is pronounced. Especially at the top of the neck. So freeway, piebald. And hopefully you stay there for a moment. Of course not. So she's going away. And I'll pull out. Of course she had to go into the bin. This is the first time we've had this. Yep. People were probably saying, yeah, I figured, you know. I don't mean really just the video we set up just before. Yep. But yep. hey, they yeah, do what okay. they do. Yep. But yeah, I mean, if all the videos we've done with all these animals, that's the first time. It's not, which isn't bad. Probably won't be the last. So this is my boy. This is the pastel version. So this is a pastel. Freeway piebald. And that's once again the oranges. Amazing. Little face right there. These are so awesome. So, this boy hopefully gets a little bit more size. He'll be busier. I'm going to get him into a clutch or two for the end of the year. But look at that head stamp. Almost looks like a silhouette. So super amazing. Super happy with him. I love that project. Now I'm getting some Enchi into it and Orange Dream. I'm going to go this way and then to the end. So here's my clown stuff. So right here we have this is a freeway Enchi pastel. 66% hat clown? Yep. So, an Enchi Freeway is also referred to as a Mardi Gras. 
So this would be a pastel Mardi Gras or pastel NG Freeway and 66% Heck Clown. And look at the oranges in here. It's just, oh, I love it. Like purples and the oranges here. Like, just look. I'm pretty sure this is going to prove out to be Heck Clown. And once again, we see the butterfly on the head of the pastel. Pastel with the Enchi, yep. And then, take this one step further. And, this is the clown version. Holy cow. <laughs> Nuts. So, Pastel Enchi Freeway Clown. Just amazing. Oops. Look at the colors. Look at the, it just... Just turned it up a whole nother notch. Does it show up in the camera? Not as nice as in person. Like, look at the pixelations here, the colors. I'll try to bend it so you can... Zoom in. There you go, you can see it. Like, the colors throughout this animal is just... Just amazing. Just that head alone. So, look at these two animals. The colors in them are just intense, so rich. Two amazing females. So much to do with that project. Just starting. Now here, you take a asphalt to an asphalt and you make a super asphalt. So you want to handle that. I'm going to go run and get that other animal that oh, I... Yes. So that's the super. I love the way the back, sort of back and forth. I love how thick and bold the black highlight is around the dorsal pattern. And then it fades and there's a lot of side pattern. The belly is, oh, get red stripe and OD into this. Even some Enchi. So that's just the super asphalt. Now we're going to add pastel and then BAM! Nuts! I love the, th I just love how dark and thick the bold and the black is around the dorsal pattern. Pastel super asphalt. And the one that we forgot and probably the star of the show now. BAM! Pastel Enchi. Super asphalt, and notice the head, it's almost there. But look at the colors, look at this, oh my. Look at the salt and peppering up the, down the, down the, from the belly up. And on the sides, the rich, it's almost like a salmon, pinkish red. And look how thick and bold the black is around the top. Like, this is nuts. This is nuts. And this is just absolutely nuts. I love them all. Can't wait to get banana into this. Banana super asphalt. So I have orange dream and super orange dream. Before we end off, do you want to grab that banana and she freely? Oh just my god, yeah. How do we not file? forget that? Okay. Should be this way. Yep. And here's this little guy. That's a banana freeway. So banana imagine. Banana Enchi freeway. Banana Enchi freeway, sorry. So imagine getting this banana color into, you know, something like this. Or just the banana into this deep. The, the, the contrast and the tones, I think, would be incredible. The purples and oranges would be very good. So I got bright. shots. I got a few shots this year at Banana Super Asphalt, Super Orange Dream Super Asphalt. Super Asphalt Lavenders. 
and a lot more freeway clowns, freeway pied combos. I just love these things. They're just so awesome. Look at this. Look at this range of color and pattern and just nuts. Super excited. I've been working on it with this. Like I said, this will be my 10th year. Um, love it. Not stopping anytime soon. I got a lot of different combos, as you can see, plus what I haven't shown. I got a lot of it in Het Enhancer, Het Clown. I've got double Het Clown Pied Asphalt. Asphalt double Het Clown Pied. I got a bunch coming out. Um, amazing. So, Enhancer, Enhancer Clown uh, Freeways. Ugh, nuts. Future's looking amazing. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, this is a special one because to me, this, you know, asphalt's been my, my number one um, and, and something I've been so passionate about uh, since I saw it back in, in 2009, 2010 when I bought my first one and uh, fell in love with it so much. I, I ended up buying the entire project in 13 or 14 and uh, haven't looked back since. So, thanks everybody. Um, hope uh, you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, anything else? No? Nope. Thanks for watching. Don't for hey, don't that nope, nope. Come on, I gotta do my thing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep the comments coming in, and Austin's gonna pan around. And uh, see you next video.